Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Extraordinary Adventures. My name is Laura, and I am on the Freedom of the Seas. We are doing a four-night Bahamas cruise, and I wanted to give you a quick tour of our room. We are in a junior suite. It is number 9628. Eight. So if you have the opportunity to take a cruise in a junior suite or a suite for that matter, then I highly recommend it. So let's enter. Hey everybody, this is Laura and Scott from Extraordinary hey Adventures Cruise and Travel. And we are interrupting the video you are currently watching to let you know that not only do we create videos like this, we are also cruise travel agents. Yes, we are. So if you are looking to book a cruise, we would love to help you. Reach us at any of the information below. Call us, email us, check us out on the web, Instagram, yeah. you name it, we're there. <laughs> We'd love to help you plan your next extraordinary, extraordinary adventure. adventure. Okay, hey, well, welcome everybody to our room here. Uh, we are in a junior suite, as I've mentioned, and it is my sister and myself, so the beds are actually separated, uh, hence the space. Um, if it was my husband Scott, which he's not here, womp, womp, then obviously they would be together. <laughs> Um, so let's move into the room. So we have the beds here. On either side of the bed, we do have end tables. Uh, the problem, the problem, uh, not so much really a problem, well, a little bit, uh, is that they don't have any electrical outlets. So if you are charging your phones, it's a problem because you don't, you can't charge your phone next to your bed. There are electrical sockets uh, over here, uh, and there are two electrical sockets. Uh, two American electrical sockets right here. Um, doo -doo -doo, hello, there we go, right there. Uh, and then um, there are additional sockets over there. Those are for uh, the UK. Um, I, one tip, one pro tip, always bring a clock with you. Uh, it's not showing, oh, there it is, aha. Um, on a cruise ship, they never have clocks. So you never know what time it is. So if you are a person who likes to go, hey, I want to know what time it is when I wake up in the middle of the night, then I highly recommend uh, bringing a clock with you. The other thing I do recommend bringing with you, well, there are two other things actually. Uh, first, a nightlight. Uh, that way the rooms get really dark at night, especially with the, the shades closed. Um, so I really do recommend bringing a nightlight. It will illuminate the room just enough so that you can like make, make it to the bathroom, you know? Uh, and then a power strip. Um, there are many different types of power strips that are allowed. The only ones that are not allowed have the surge protectors on them. Um, those are not allowed because they trip the circuitry and uh, they, will, they won't allow those. But as long as it's, it could have a cord with lots of different prongs, that would be fine. Just as long as it doesn't have a power, like a surge protector on it, okay? Um, so then let's move on to this area right here. Uh, we have our, the funniest thing, I've actually never opened it. <laughs> We have here our mini fridge. Aha, and it's, uh, is it cold? It's cold, that's a good thing. That's really funny, I've, I've been on, this is the day three, four of four, and uh, I haven't opened it, not once. Uh, because we are in a suite, we have uh, a coffee machine right here, uh, and then right above it, of course, our television, of which you can see my reflection, hello. Uh, and then we have, various drawers here of which we have not used uh, our chair uh, with the, the makeup light to make yourself all pretty uh, and then uh, over here you have your safe uh, as well as more storage of which we have not used because again it's only a four night cruise and I'll tell you the best part of a junior suite and that is dun -dun -dun, a walk-in closet of which we have literally used nothing <laughs> because there's just so much storage. We're messy, sorry. Um, there are complimentary robes for you to use if you are staying in a suite. Uh, and uh, it's just, this has been a really nice, it's a nice large room. Um, and keep on going, you have a nice chair with one of our uh, towel animals there that our wonderful room attendant has made for us. Um, a kind of awkward table that I don't exactly know. Maybe it's for the chair. I don't know. Uh, and then we have the nice full large couch there with uh, another table. And then one of the best parts about this room is the balcony. It is a very large balcony. 
let's open this door right here. Uh, so the balcony, not only do you have room for two full loungers, you also have room for two chairs and a table out there. It is an enormous balcony, and uh, we are in Nassau, Bahamas today, docked between, uh, the well, next to the Carnival Conquest and the Carnival Elation. Um, and if we were on the other side uh, of the ship, you would be able to see uh, Atlantis, but we are not there, so. Um, it's just been a great room, absolutely wonderful room. Um, the room has room darkening shades which get really, really dark at night. Once you close these up, uh, it becomes almost pitch black, hence the, the good reason to have one of those night lights, uh, because if you did not have one of those night lights, you really wouldn't be able to see your way around. Uh, and then lastly, we have the bathroom. And this is probably, I mean, part of it's good and part of it is meh. Um, what is really good is the full tub for guests who are staying with young children it is a very helpful thing to have as opposed to just a shower um, and of course they have the wand which detaches and they have the cord up here so for you to dry your uh, clothing on and then they also have uh, shampoo conditioner and body wash available uh, for you to use but the one part that I slightly ding them on is, oh, hello again, me, uh, the one um, sink um, in a suite. I kind of, I know it's a junior suite, uh, but I was still kind of expecting two sinks. So um, while I think the room overall is amazing, I, if I had one critique, it would be that I just would like two sinks instead of one sink. But other than that, um, it's really a great room. I highly recommend it. It's nice and spacious. And uh, we had a lot of room to stretch out. We never felt cramped. Uh, I was concerned traveling with my sister. We would want our own separate spaces. Um, and so this room would be large enough for us to each have our own space and not feel that we were intruding on the other person. Uh, this would also be really good for uh, larger families. It's, it's a really nice space. I really, really absolutely enjoy it. So, um, I will mention, while well, the color scheme hmm, is probably not my, you know, go-to, nothing seems or looks like it's in need of repair. Everything looks like it's in order and nothing, sh the paint's not chipped or cracked or peeling or anything of that nature. Um, I think that they're really good, doing a good job in maintaining the space. So uh, with that, uh, I thank you all very much and bye.